Hello there everybody, Sherry Schmidt here, and today I have some more eBay training for you. What we're going to be talking about is how you're going to be setting up those Google spreadsheets the right way for your eBay listings. I do have Mona with me here today on the video, and she's just going to give me a little bit of her input. So let's with get me started. Today. Hello, Mona. How are you? Hi, Sherry. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm awesome as well. We're just going to go over the spreadsheet here for the DSD. This is very important, you guys, that we all get this spreadsheet fix, you know, figured out. Um, we just got jumped on here to do a little training, and I thought I would videotape this, so this way I won't have to go doing this one-on-one -on -one with each of you, okay? Um, this is just, um, you know, a Google Doc. It's just a spreadsheet that you open up. Um, over here in the first... I have A, I have sold. I don't know if this is all that important. You know, maybe it is because, you know, if you have uh, a lot of people selling these products, that's kind of important, right? I would think so, yeah. Yeah, so maybe it is a good thing. And then over here we have, um, you know, the vendor listing. This is what you are actually going to be selling, okay? So this, I have an easy ring spin mop and bucket, okay? So you just put that, you know, right up here and drop it in there. And then the next one, we have, um, you know, the competitor's URL. This is um, eBay, okay? okay? So this is, um, you know, where you're listing. The, this is who you investigated, okay? And this is the price, and this is how many that they sold. So you always want to go and check that out too, okay? Right. Well, well of course, you're going to want to put that in here, okay? Then the next one will be actually, you, you know, where um, the Amazon link, where, you know, where you got your price from, okay? Your listing price is going to be $32.99, okay? Um, always, always great tip here, guys. Go to the cart. Add to this to the cart when you're checking out. Go and see if they're going to charge you um, shipping and handling. If they're going to charge you tax, then when you come back to your um, spreadsheet, you want to um, have that over here. Okay, what your price is going to be. Okay. Yeah, I messed that one up on my first listing that I made. Okay, it's very important, you know, because you don't want to be losing money. You, the point of all of this is to make money, okay? Okay, the next one is your buyer's price. This is your price, what you are going to charge for this particular item. The next one, your competitor's price. So this is where, you know, you got his price over here, what they actually sold this for, and you want to undercut that so I undercut this by 50 cents and over here I did put this my undercut price but I think I'm gonna change this because in this you can see I started putting the dates in this column I think that's a little more a little more um, information than this my undercut price so I'm actually going to go and change this and put this as our date that we um, listed this particular item, okay? Okay. And then um, this, because this one here, you know, is going to be, tell you, you know, what you paid for it and your profit. So, you know, this particular item I spent, you know, the cost was $69.99 with everything. And then I just added $20. So you can see I when I listed it, I listed it for $89.99. You know, this is all a learning experience for me, too. So um, I'm learning as we go, and I'm just finding that this is the best way to do it. Also, over here, this, you know, ASIN thing, always put that here. Well, I am running out of time, and I really want to get over here to my um, email and show you this little trick that I do. I like to forward, when you get your eBay, you're going to get your listings from them in your email. What I do is I forward them back to my email, and I just put th this little information in here. You see, um, I always put the Amazon link, and I put this little 
um, code here as well. So then um, I don't know if you guys are going to be, ex you know, making offers or accepting offers, but, you know, it's so much easier just to come in here and do this. Well, guys, I hope that this has helped. Has this helped you a little bit, Mona? Yes, ma'am, it has. I uh, thank you very much for the time. Okay, got to go. Love you guys. Good luck. I'm here thank for you.